Hello, hello, everybody. It's your Prof. Trof, and we're back with another video by the generosity. This is your school confessions. Let's go, y'all. How how wild are you guys? Let's find I'm out. Back and I'm well, back. maybe not. Big. Last video I asked True. you guys Damn. for your confessions, also big. specifically your Sheesh. school confessions on the craziest Hold events that happened school. at your school. And after reading multiple what submissions, I realized most of y'all schools have something in common. So huh? much so, it feels like all you guys went to the same school. Most of that? these confessions were about your freaky couples doing stuff in class or in the I hallways. Mean, what else would you expect? The weird old teachers that were caught watching the dirty or trying to do what? it with another student. Hey, yo. A lot of explicit stuff going on. I swear, like 80% of these submissions involve. Bro, first off, how is that even possible? I, through all my school years, I swear there was like one teacher that was kind of okay ish and she was like a substitute teacher. And that's like for like three weeks or something. Like, oh, what sort of teachers y'all got? And, and when it wasn't that, it was like. I pooped my pants in kindergarten. Bro, it's kindergarten. Bruh, uh, yeah, that's like that. expected. Maybe I should have thought True. ahead. I'm not really known for using my brain. <clears throat> but if I have to read someone smearing poop in the bathroom Ooh. one more time. What I'm the confused. hell? This was a mistake. Like God something else damn. I've done recently that I cannot elaborate on. What'd you do, bro? Coffee, 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 coffee. Ah, cool, a contract. Let's sign it. So I'm just going to go off and read my favorite ones that what I What did find. you do? All right, let's start this out with Come a on, short brother. one. One time when the teacher left the room to talk to a student, I checked the teacher's search history and find Zootopia stuff. <laughs> hey, bro, I mean, that rabbit's got it, so I'm, I'm like... Yeah, my you know, we're stuff. off to a good start. <laughs> I used the school bathroom to piss. Will you ever forgive me? That's you what it's there for, the God damn it. Bathroom to use the bathroom? You're disgusting. What's next? You wash your hands in school bathroom Ooh. too, you freak. I share a class Ooh. with a super senior and we're doing a home. What is a super senior? When I, I don't get that one. Work assignment about school threats. I made a comment on how sometimes students make threats, all talk and no fight. The super senior called me a and started approaching me. Told his that if he wants to fight, let's fight. But the teacher pulled him aside and told him to go outside and calm down. And then this chess motherfucker had the audacity to throw a water bottle at me. And Ooh. we both got sent to the office. The super Wait. senior looks like a ed Why were you sent to the office? Well, but this a fight. This a, in high school, this a fight, brother. You wait outside the school and then you whoop each other's ass for like three seconds, fail all your punches, and then cry about it. G quiet kid, low. Bro, Straight you should have never messed with him, bro. That You're is also first true. Up on his list. If exactly. I were you, I'd start being as friendly as possible. Get him Magic the Gathering cards or something. You know, something that'll make him happy. Exactly, bro. That night might be going through your head. This happened last year, and I went to the drinking fountain with my buddy after PE, and I heard noises in the bathroom. Oh, so oh, we went to brother. check it out, and when we jumped to the look at the stall... <laughs> this is peak high school behavior. You hear weird noises, and your first two action is, let's go check it out. <laughs> we saw the math teacher plowing the English teacher in the freaking male Damn, bathroom in between let's periods. let's go, brother. It's freaking insane. He I hope it was in between periods because god damn that's dirty now. picture of it and showed the school administration and he got suspended for taking the picture but both teachers damn. were fired why was he suspended he took photo evidence of two teachers doing in he a snitch they're not touching the kids what's wrong with that Let them ban. exposure in a school bathroom unless he spread it around to all the other students Ooh, he should have never that? got suspended what's, what's worse that? is that the english teacher was cheating on his wife yes Damn. it was two male teachers oh. and he had a what son that was in our class oh. and bro never forgave us nah, if I was bro, i'd switch schools man there's no coming back from that like what his dad for which school you got switch countries at that point it is almost as bad as having like an only fans mom you know oh, the clowning would never stop i'm nah, sorry for the man. interruption but this video is also sponsored. Ah, cool. This video is sponsored. Oh, Dragon dude who was friends with me since I moved to this state five years ago and we've mm. been drifting apart recently because he has some unsavory things about certain people that I did not want to be associated with. Okay. Yeah, let me guess. He was racist. He was Probably very into racist. airsoft. Yeah, he was definitely racist. He uh -huh. didn't have a lot of friends, but he thought of me as a friend. Fast forward to now and it's Halloween 2023 and this kid comes into school wearing a full military tactic okay brother you sure you should celebrate your that you're a friend of his you might survive Michael outfit with a bulletproof Holy. vest and a helmet everyone already thought this kid was a threat and today people made <laughs> sure to be was extra a nice to him just in case you know <laughs> i'm glad i stopped being around this kid so much because oh, i really do God. not want to be known around this guy yeah your former friend is super weird bro i'm mm. so glad that you just got out of that bit. friendship but if i saw someone show up in that fit to school one day yeah we're best honestly, friends now i'm i'm 
Or I'm early dismissing myself. I'm not gonna stay at the school, possibly gonna get shot. I'm gonna leave. Some of got damn, his pants off of him while he was taking a shit. Like someone just crawled under and yanked him. Ow! First off, what sort of weirdo crawls under another dude's uh, cubicle? That's a cubicle, right? Off. That's, Who the hell robbed him, Mr. Bean? That, that's My friend wild. and I walked into the school without giving the fuck to a teacher. Yo. Big bro was moaning like crazy. It was wild. But after the school heard of this, the teacher was fired and the thought was suspended for oh, three weeks. Oh, she's suspended. That, was she not good at it? God damn it. Not even an A. That is now known as, did that shit really happen? P.S. You was not beating no damn demon. The fuck is you want? Yes, I am. Yo. I'm built different. Don't tell me what I can't beat. In year eight on some cold Damn. ass morning, this kid who I only talked to like okay. once. Okay, first of all, this Australia is probably crazy. Twice, he was weird. Had asked me if I wanted to see something. I said, yes, of course. And he opened his jacket to show me a grenade. Yo. This kid walked into school with a grenade. And when our class had started, the building he was in evacuated because he threw the grenade, pin still in, still in. And everyone started screaming and ran. Police showed up and everyone got to find out what really happened. Turns out his grandpa fought in either World War II or the Vietnam sure. War and kept the grenade as a memento, which is illegal, and this Probably. kid managed to get his hands on it. After police confiscated it, they safely destroyed it. A bunch of kids How needed counseling, and the kid was- How the hell do you safely destroy a grenade, first off? Taking some time to himself, which just meant he was expelled, but my school hates that word for Bro, some reason. Bro, at that point, you should not be expelled. Your ass should be in prison. You threw a goddamn grenade, you could have killed us all. Bro, Fuck imagine that if shit. the school's weird kid approaches you and pulls With a out a grenade? grenade. Like, what are you doing in that situation? Honestly, I don't know what I, I would do. Because if he I know exactly what I would do. I have this plan in my head. I start praying to all the 13 gods that I found were semi-strong, I guess. I have this plan out. Pin, how do I get away? If I run you away, you he's pray? just gonna chuck that shit at me and I'll blow up. If I stay there, he's gonna stay there too and i blow up. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> thank God he didn't pull pray. the pin. And thankfully everybody at your school is safe. At my high school. I mean, listen, if you're dumb enough to bring a grenade to school, you're probably dumb enough to not know you gotta turn the pin. Or pull the pin. You're probably special. There was extra this girl special. that everyone extra, had a major special. crush on. Okay. Turns out she was sleeping with everyone. Everybody? I know this because I might have slept with her. She got hey, a boyfriend yo. and slept with someone else while having a boyfriend. The boyfriend killed the random NPC and went to jail. After this, she was yo. questioned by police and told them that the boyfriend wasn't satisfying her. Turns out she had mental problems and went to a ward. Fast oh. forward seven years later and my girlfriend meets this really nice person. Oh god, It's, it's the same girl. Bro, that's Bro. a movie script. Run. <laughs> that's Basically, a movie I bought script. A gun to school because I was super mad at my teachers and homie you're the problem you are the problem classmates for making fun of me I then walked in school got patted down because one of my friends ratted on me good I got that is not that dude did not rat on you he saved everybody's life thank god bro what's with these school yeah. threat stories bro you think what's I'm gonna be on your side man no I'm not everybody hates your ass learn from this there's Don't a reason a for it threat. it's not cool dude. nah when I was in high school it was Oy. revealed that the mystery meat they've been giving us for almost four years was monkey meat so apparently the meat supplier for the the school was a crooked piece of shit who wanted to make a huge profit so instead of chicken or i don't know horse meat he got us monkey bro first off horse meat's expensive ain't nobody feeding children horse meat he meat let's just say the Where school was get... locked down okay. after that sounds like one of that bullshit that was a lie how the hell does he get that much uh monkey meat like what the words and the supplier small. got arrested how would he that get that many monkeys so gross. that's Where probably from? being served in every in high school honestly based on some of the meat i've seen in my old school too i bet Ooh. that's monkey meat also i blame michelle obama for all of this if it wasn't for her you guys would to be eating monkey meat so really? basically there has been this rumor going around and it is that jimmy smashed josh's girl so people kept it away of course and it ain't true but Josh, he's a rebellious MF. He picks fights, so you know what he did? He smacked his girl and beat Jimmy's ass. Who the Am hell I supposed to know who these yeah, people are? The Alright, so people? I'm gonna do a speed run around real quick. Oh, on God. a bunch of let's short go. confessions I got. All right. So I can put as many confessions in this video as possible. <laughs> so, three, two, one, let's go. Let's I go. sold explosives at school. How? Someone the... put rat boys. What? We don't just go by that? What do you mean? Inside the water. A teacher Ugh. ran over a student. Someone Yo? put laxatives in the school lunch. The yeah, fuck? group chat leaked. Eh, who cares? Probably I smoked racist. a blunt, got high, then sucked my homie's feet for two hours and sixteen minutes, bro. Damn, was he high or was he not high? I timed it. What the hell? My teacher said I'd be a failure, speaking? so I slept with her husband. If only you knew. Nice. I, I don't know. So, so why don't you tell me? The fat kid in my school fought someone over a cheeseburger. <laughs> Did he win? Did he win? Nutted in a saxophone.
Uh, a girl got pregnant with her stepbrother's kid and had a miscarriage in a fight. I'm going to leave it at that. Damn. Oh. I shoved my backpack Charlie stick up multiple people's asses. The bees attacked the entire you? school. It was crazy. My school boring as hell, <laughs> bro. I ain't got nothing to say. Same. Damn, I was eating jerk chickens in the stall. Kind of same. We had some stories, but they're not that crazy. Bro. When some dude walked in thinking no one is in there and I ended up spraying on him. Nasty. Once I was caught reading Yaoi in class. It? I do homeschooling, by the way. Hey, yo, what? I had two teachers sit at both sides of my table. S so your parents caught you? Xbox! Also, someone was stabbed over $2. Hey, we uh, had somebody stabbed in a school. Not my school, but another school. I guess that's pretty crazy. In the back. Bullying. Homie was permanently damaged after that. All right, enough with the speed run round. Let, let's Damn. go back to the normal confessions, you know? I so I used Chris to cool run a school confession Instagram account. Then there was one confession that I got about a girl f***ing a dog and got pregnant. Wait, a, a girl? That's, that, that, that don't work like that. That bitch is lying. You dumb as hell for believing that. How is that possible? That is, it is not possible. It doesn't that work like that. Noted. I live in an Islamic country, to an oh, Islamic shit. school, which if y'all know means the guys and gals are separated. Oh. And the only way we can even sniff the guy's presence is to talk to them on Insta or whatever. Uh -huh. But some freaking how, one of the girls from my class had S, unfiltered, pure oh, S, my God. with a guy in one of the girls' bathrooms in the girls' section. And it gets worse. Because not only did this happen in seventh grade, but also a parent... Hey, yo! Seventh grade is like, what, 30... Hey, yo! Apparently, these two were half siblings, hey. which kind of explains how, a half, so okay. how they were able to meet up. But still, these mother effers got expelled when they found out. But how did they find out? Well, uh, the girl got pregnant. God damn and it. from what I've heard, it was twins. Oh my God, they yo. actually had the babies. Uh, and to this day, I will never I find out. They had the, it's like, I don't think they do that, bro. Why she had S in the school bathroom with her half brother. Someone Why didn't they buy a condom? Save me from this freaking it's a Islamic life. country. I know. Can you buy a condom? Half brother? I don't know. Half. Not even a step brother. Half? Hey, listen. Listen. It depends on which. <laughs> Some kid jumped off the second story of the oh. school auditorium to avoid getting a Spanish test. Only dumb. We still got the test. Imagine. How do we tell him he's dumb in Spanish? You've been willing to sacrifice Ooh. your legs to avoid a Spanish test. You didn't even to avoid it, get probably. The test and fail. Yeah, you You'd dumb. have to watch out for me, bro. One time in eighth grade, I saw my crush walk into the girls' bathroom to take a dump, and after she was done, I licked the toilet seat. Bro. Okay, listen. No. You guys have not heard of self-restraint. The craziest thing or that happened in my school in the or UK self would definitely be when someone or came in self. with a medical needle and started stabbing other kids with it. He then started to say that it was AIDS, and as you may be able to predict, a lot of kids ain't appreciate it. So a lot of them try to f*** him up, but he was so quick. Until a bunch of kids blocked the door. Nah, that's bullshit, brother. That is bullshit. If, a lot, if enough people hate you, they would catch your ass outside. I mean, maybe it's because I, I was I lived... I live in a small town, so maybe that's why we didn't do crazy shit like this. But people would catch you, they would gang up on you, and you would not enjoy your life after this. Just not just this day, the your life. Hell out of him. And just when you think it's over, two feds charged in the classroom and literally tackled him to the ground Damn. and cuffed him. So yeah, we all wondered why the teachers ain't do anything, because like this kind of thing doesn't go. I think teachers can't touch kids in a lot of countries nowadays because they get sued and fired. Notice, like well, not touch them like that. They you know? literally called the cops and didn't want him to expect it. And that's not true. The teachers didn't do anything because they didn't want to catch AIDS either. They just true. waited for the cops. Yeah, they smart. Took they place, grown and up. I'm pretty sure our school made the news, but there's a lot they missed out. Anyways, fuck you. You syringe swinging. <laughs> we had to get metal detectors and search North Korea damn. airport style for the next year. God, Going damn. into school and purposely trying to spread AIDS is, that is a act that only the most nefarious people would do. Hope you safe, bro. Gremlin? And I hope you didn't catch the virus. All right, bro, check it, cause you will genuinely not believe this. Probably. I'm from an area called the DMV. That's probably half y'all lying. God damn it. And let me tell you something. Bitches in the DMV are no, bad bro, shit. Seven, what's crazy. happening in seventh grade? Back in seventh grade, I had a very deadly beef with. Practically everybody Deadly in my beef. grade. I was sure with like nine people, but the rest wanted to see my ass more dead than Will Smith's career. One Damn. night when I came home from school, I was chilling in my room though. when my mom breaks down the door like SEAL Team 6 and snatches my phone out my hands like it's a ghetto girl's weed. She starts scrolling through it and goes into my camera.
camera roll, <laughs> then proceeds to tell the person who she was on the phone with that my phone was clean. It was my principal. I was weirded the fuck out until she came back 30 minutes later asking me if I had made any threatening oh, or they even lied said about things him. that sounded oh, remotely shit. threatening about my school. I said no while she proceeded to show me an email with screenshots of a Snapchat <laughs> account with vaguely threatening messages. The Snapchat <gasps> account was a fake account of me uh. and I was shocked as fuck. My mom told me to go to bed says my principal who was known for calling the police a lot over small things. I called the cops to protect the school again. We're going to have to go to the police station to clear everything What's out with the cops story. and explain the situation to me. What I was able to find out through some digging and a fucking confession to one of my friends who went undercover was that this was another one of my ex best friend's ploys to get me expelled. They used a VPN, all accounts, and burner devices to fake an account of me. Bro, in seventh grade, nobody's doing this shit. What the hell? This stuff, this must be fake, Albert. But it's like a lot of details, but stupid details. Long Bro, story nobody's short, doing this I shit. I ended up leaving the school and finishing my last month online, aka watching Netflix. Nice. All day. While my brother went online, exposed their evil deeds, and the culprits got beat up for it. Nice. And at least a happy ending. Is that Damn, shit real? Bro, who the hell are your ops? The League of Villains? I never <laughs> understood having ops in like this young of an age. Seventh grade? Yeah, bro. Seventh Damn, grade. Bro. What you do to have Y'all so barely have a brain at that point. I'm not even sure if you do have one. So much beef with so many people, bro. All right, what let's read doing? one last one. There's this oh, pick God. me that literally no one likes. Not even the pick teachers. Me. So like last week we had a history test. Everyone loves the history teacher. And the class was dead silent. Nice. You know, working hard and stuff. But like near the end of the class, the pick me got up and yelled i'm done and everyone looked at her and this boy shut told her to the shut the fuck up. up the teacher heard it and she didn't say anything Ooh. so the pick me was complaining Ooh. how it was unfair and how everyone is so rude and all the teacher was doing is staring at her and the pick me said that's why you have so many miscarriages <laughs> the teacher just got back from the hospital after her third miscarriage god Bam! She went nuclear on her the teacher got up and that's smacked her yeah and all the girls they deserved you deserve a fucking knee in the test code. Pussy. My class, including me, fuck. got up and beat the sh out Damn. of the pick me. She ran out of class and came back with the principal. But everyone said the pick me was lying for attention. And people told the principal what the pick me said about the teacher, so she got suspended. Nice. The class made a promise to never speak about what actually happened and to protect the history teacher. Your history teacher must be cool as fuck to have fuck. Kids actually protect her, like whole class. Because, you know, kids dumb as fuck. Let's be honest. Teacher. I can't tell if you guys Dang. are the heroes or the villains of this story. Bro. Both. I don't know whose side to take on this one. So I'm going to just. Wallace? Yeah, it's a big ass motherfucker. My God damn. And that's all the confessions I'm going to be reading today. I know these were a lot more tame than the last one. Damn, they were. What? These were more tame than the last one? What do you mean? But they had grenades in school, homie. What's going on? They have people with a needle. What do you mean? Middle of come? What the why would this more tame? Okay, well, um, let me know what y'all think. Did you have any stories like this? Um, like, comment, subscribe, and what the hell? Bye, everybody.